Well, I had, and you will say it, I had ammunition. We had so much it was coming out of our gills, right? I had ammunition. All I said, yeah. what the hell do we do with all this ammunition? We had so much. <laughs> and now we don't have ammunition again. We gave it all away to different groups, but mostly into Ukraine. Mm. And we don't have ammunition. Mm. We had so many missiles, we didn't know if we could fire them all. We had to hire teams of people. To even the concept, we had so much. <laughs> warehouses ah. were full. We took new warehouses. And now we're back to a point where we have no ammunition again. These people are, are just so destructive. So, mm -hmm. yes. you know, I always look for mm -hmm. good words. Highly sophisticated. I'm highly educated. I like sophisticated words, but there's only one word I get. It's stupid. They're stupid people. <laughs> I'd like to say... Yeah, I'd like that, to say yeah that's funny. Yeah, that's funny. I guess that's you could good. say incompetent. Uh -huh. Sounds maybe a little better. I don't know which is better, being stupid or being incompetent, because they're both. Mm. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't have any argument with I, any of that. Uh, no. Uh, That's hilarious. Man. Apparently, uh, he wants to redirect money to help homeless veterans, which is great. As border czar, <clears throat> Kamala has spent over $1 billion of taxpayer money to house illegal aliens and foreign migrants in some of the most expensive housing and hotels anywhere in the country. Meanwhile, more than 41,000 homeless American veterans are living in squalor on our streets. Mm -hmm. I mean, I hope you people are 41,000 going to remember this because it's terrible. What's going on is terrible. Wow. 41,000 veterans are homeless. Wow. Unacceptable. Completely unacceptable. Uh, he also introduced Tulsi Gabbard after her endorsement. And today I'm honored to officially welcome another true American patriot, a 17-year veteran of the Hawaii Army National Guard, a four-term Democrat congresswoman, very, very popular, the former vice chair of the National Democratic Party and a 2020 Democrat candidate for the United States presidency. You know, uh, she was... Uh, a very good candidate. Every time she ran, she was good. She did well. She decided to leave. She couldn't take it anymore. But she is uh, very special. And I didn't know this, but she was a lieutenant colonel. That's not bad. Lieutenant <laughs> colonel. Not bad. I didn't know that. You know, I just found out. I said, put it down. You got to put that down. That's bigger. That's better than all the other stuff I read. <laughs> That's right. But no, well, she's a special person. She's got great common sense, great spirit. She loves our country, and she loves the people mm -hmm. in this room. Tulsi Gabbard. Get Tulsi, please. please. <laughs> How does she out? Get her out of here. It's better than Adam Kinzinger, I'll tell you that. No kidding. Keep your Adam Kinzinger. We'll take Tulsi Gabbard any day. No doubt. <clears throat> to the brink of nuclear war than we ever have been before. This is one of the main reasons why I'm committed to doing all that I can to send President Trump back to the White House where he can once again serve us as our Commander in Chief. <laughs> because I am confident that his first task will be to do the work to walk us back from the brink of war. Good. We cannot be prosperous unless we are at peace. Did she uh, eliminate the white streak no, in her no, hair? No, it's still there. It's, there. it's, just, it's, there. it's just back. Angle, yes. Yeah. You got to push back. Because you right. see, when she walked out, you could see you it. You could see it. Uh, yeah. Okay. It's, it's a good look for angle. her. She needs to keep it. Yeah. Man, you need to. Man. <laughs> see right there. Here she comes. Here she comes. Oh, yeah. There it is. All right. Okay, there no, it she's is. She's not going to get rid of that. That's her. That's her. That's her. <laughs> that's her, that's her that's signature look. That's her line. Yeah, she looks yeah. Her, yes. Yeah, it is. <laughs> I do love they were paying attention to her hair. I was like, "Where's the mm -hmm. skunk look?" <laughs> <laughs> uh, also, Trump mentioned yesterday that he doesn't care if during the debate with Kamala the mics are muted. The truth is they're trying to get out of it because she doesn't want to debate. Right. Yep. She's not a good That's debater. Right. She's not a smart person. <laughs> she doesn't want to debate. But when I looked at the hostility during the weekend, you watch it. This week with George Slopidopoulos, 
And uh, the Vietnamese didn't get that one. <laughs> you got it, right? Sorry. Yes, right. If you didn't get it, I couldn't put it in English. But uh, no, we, we want to have fairness. We have to bring fairness back to the country. And we have That's to have a awesome. president. We are the closest to World War III, I believe, that we've ever been right now. Yeah, this is, right this this is a Vietnamese restaurant that we have a man that just the guy on his right in California, uh, is he was running the for office. And he came he, back today. Uh, mm-hmm. he back. Where's he going? Mm-hmm. Delaware. Why? Another vacation. He's going for another week. That's not the Vietnamese. They're hardworking people, aren't they? <laughs> <laughs> <All right. laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> it's great. I don't know. I don't think since it was a campaign stop, you know, for the congressman, I don't know that he paid everybody's dinner at the Vietnamese restaurant. But it wouldn't surprise me. <clears throat> yeah, I know he does that. He does that. I like the Slopadopolis, though. That was a fun line.